Welcome to another video guys. Today I am driving my very first air-cooled Porsche 9, not 11, 912. This is basically the little brother to the 911 from the 1960s. It has a four-cylinder carbureted engine making just under 100 horsepower and it has no assists whatsoever. We've got manual steering, manual brakes, cable throttle. This thing is such a riot. I'm following the owner right now, Jimmy, in his Porsche 550 Spider replica, which I'll be hopping into right after we get done driving this 912. Now, this is not a car that I want to drive anywhere near 10 tenths. The first time I pulled out of Jimmy's driveway in this thing, I was actually pretty scared because I had forgotten how it felt to drive a car with unassisted brakes. The moment I touched that brake pedal, nothing happened. This morning, I just drove a 997.2 GT3 with over 500 horsepower, and this feels like it has less than 10% of the performance capability of that car, and that is a 12-year-old car at this point. So we're just gonna cruise in this thing, take it easy. It's a four-speed manual. The shifter is mounted right on the floor, and the throws are really long. So it's a workout to drive this thing. This thing likes to be double-clutched, so for a downshift, Wow, I'm not used to this. Not used to this kind of driving experience at all. Now I could bore you with all the history of the 912, but that's not really what my channel is about. I really just want to convey what this car feels like to drive. And I can confirm it is one of the most analog driving experiences you can get today. And it feels like something that should be described in history books. It doesn't feel like something I should be able to experience on the road with other modern cars that all these teslas out here with autopilot and self-driving and here we are in this porsche 912 with a carbureted flat four engine just having an absolute blast this is a take it out on a, a sunny saturday afternoon like we have here find a nice back road and just enjoy it enjoy driving for what it is interaction between man and machine. The sights, the sounds, the feeling of this thin-rimmed, glossy wood steering wheel, very upright driving position, classic uh, Porsche interior here, upright dashboard. The heritage of the Porsche 911, and in this case 912, is still evident throughout the generations. This thing has so much character, I am absolutely loving every second of it. This is the definition of a momentum car. Don't think about an S2000 as a momentum car or a BRZ. This is a momentum car. You have to carry speed through the corners if you want to get anywhere. If, even if you just want to keep up with modern traffic, you have to actually try. Despite how raw this car is compared to more modern vehicles, it's still an actually pretty comfortable place to be. These seats are nice and soft. They don't have a ton of bolstering, but you know what? Don't really need it. experience ever love it it's a perfect kind of day to be having fun in these old classic air-cooled Porsches I can't even imagine what an old air-cooled 911 feels like now if any of you guys have has one please hit me up let me drive it let me experience it do you want to go back down in this and then come back up in that it's a little bit of a different experience going downhill oh like momentum wise yeah so that's the only thing is I don't know how you are on time we can go back down. Yeah. Want to Wanna go back do down? That? Yeah, sure. <laughs> Jimmy is the best. Jimmy is also the owner of that mint yellow um, AP2S2000 that we did with the super low miles. He's also the owner or previous owner um, of the 997.1 GT3, the white one that we uh, reviewed not too long ago. 
He also happens to have an original Acura NSX. We love Jimmy. <laughs> That is flat to the floor right now. It'll still pull uphill. You just gotta give it the beans. So I gotta say, things that made sense in the 60s but don't necessarily make sense, at least not to me, in 2021, this steering wheel. I love the fact that it's big, I love the fact that it has a thin rim, but why does it have to have this texture it's so glossy and I have no grip on the steering wheel it's not it's just not meant for performance driving <laughs> let's go a little four cylinder you can do it the gear ratios are so long it's only a four speed I just can't wipe this stupid grin off my face right now. We're not driving anywhere near the limit of what this car can actually do in terms of grip. But that's not really the point. It's enjoyable even at six tenths. Desperately trying to get a grip on the steering wheel. Actually pulls up top gives you a good reason to rev it out past uh, five and a half thousand <laughs> this is so much fun the Porsche 912 who would have thought the underpowered four-cylinder little brother to the original 911 could be this fun to drive again I can't even imagine what a six-cylinder version of this car would feel like Something with even, let's say, 150 horsepower. 150 horsepower in a car like this would feel as crazy as, like, 500 horsepower in, like, say, a 996. I gotta get used to double clutching. It's not something I've ever had to do before. Now that I've spent some time behind the wheel of this 912, I'm actually getting the hang of it. The first five minutes, I felt like I was just learning to drive a car all over again. It's so different than a modern, even a modern analog sports car. It just shows how far we've come in the past 60 years in terms of automotive technology. <laughs> the steering wheel is just wriggling around in my hands. I can feel the vibration of the engine through the throttle pedal. I've never experienced that in any car before. In 150 cars that I've reviewed for my YouTube channel, nothing, nothing is like this. <laughs> it's funny, I can't quite decide where I want to put my hands when I'm cornering. The 10 and 2, I don't quite get enough leverage mid-corner because the steering does get quite heavy. So I almost want to put it here at like, what is this, eight and four? Just the quirks of driving a 60-year-old sports car, I guess. Hey, that was a better downshift. I've never used a floor-mounted clutch pedal before. It's just such a weird feeling if you're used to driving modern manuals, hopping into this thing and just feeling the pedal do this. One of the lowest horsepower cars I've ever tested, and yet it's given me potentially the most thrills out of anything with less than, say, 500 horsepower. One of these days, I need to have an air-cooled Porsche. This car just embodies the essence of driving. Not necessarily to go anywhere, but just to enjoy the drive, the journey itself. What a machine. And Jimmy, by the way, has kept this thing pretty damn spotless. He mentioned he used to have a five-speed 912 that he lowered and had a wider stance, but he said he just kind of prefers the original look and feel of uh, this example. It's got original sand beige paint 
interior looks to be mostly original. It really does feel like a time capsule. All right, so we're gonna finish the last leg of this beautiful sunny drive down here in Southern California. Thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you next time.